Hi, this is Kirby. If you got to this video, you probably already watched my first video, which was setting up a 10 minute node. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up a I don't know how to say that, arsenic, arsenic radio node to the Pi so you'll be able to connect in through GMRS Live. Some things that I want to go over first is the point of the radio card is so that you can have a transceiver that can connect into the node, therefore allowing the Pi to go online and you to be able to transmit. So if you get a radio and you press the button on it, that Raspberry Pi that we set up in tutorial one would not be able to receive any kind of radio frequency, which will become a problem because you won't be able to talk to anybody. So the first thing first is you have your card. All right, I'm gonna go in and want something that's very important that I want everyone to understand before we start this tutorial. This is the Arsic radio node. This is an aftermarket antenna included with a little L-shaped adapter. Right here, you'll see that there's a USB 3.0. This is what they refer to as a radio part. I have a Motorola antenna attached on here for signal quality. So you will not get this. You'll get a little tiny radio. And I suggest that you take that antenna and throw it in the trash because it's set for like 500 megahertz. If you're on GMRS, obviously you're going to be in a 460 range. So you, you want to get an antenna, an aftermarket antenna. It's a good idea. The other one will work, but as far as testing, it's on a different frequency. I believe when I tested one, it was at 510 megahertz. I believe it was off of some kind of radio that would be put on a garage door opener or something like that. Um, also this little L connector you can find on there, they're called SMA adapters. So generally what you're gonna need is an SMA female, because this side of the card is male coming out. So you need an SMA female to an SAMA male. So this antenna would screw in using this bottom screw onto the bottom of the antenna. So once again, what you need is an SMA female to SMA male. And this is called a 90 degree adapter. My next point is that these radio adapters have flashing lights. This is what they call radio mode. If you'll notice, one of them is an orange color and the other one is a blue color. Let's see if I can get you a better look at that. You can see the orange clear as day here, but right there is a blue color. The orange flashing light is the first generation. The second flashing light is going to be the second generation. What's the difference? I don't know. If you want to take it apart, post it in the comments. And while you're here, if you please don't mind smashing the like button or commenting and please please subscribe i would really greatly appreciate it also if you want me to do any specialized videos on anything drop it down in the comments and i'll be happy to do that for you and is what's called radio mode that is the constant blinking light radio mode like i said earlier is when you're transmitting you can clearly see that there's a light flashing However, and I'm going to have to put this down, when I turn that USB-C adapter around, completely around, and plug it in, we are going to see that only one light lights. This here is programming mode. So for the rest of this tutorial, until I tell you to switch the USB around at the end, you want to have one light on in programming mode. The under, other end of this USB cable plugged into the Raspberry Pi that we just built. Additionally, if you have an old Samsung phone or anything with a 
a USB 2.0 or a 3.0 to a USB-C, I suggest that you take and throw that cable away. It is junk. Uh, about 50 to 75% of the time when I get contacted, it is over that cable giving people problems. I just want to make that clear. And once again, this is another node. You can see I put Motorola antennas on all my stuff. Before we start in our theoretical scenario, I want you to write these two numbers down or remember them. 469.7000 megahertz and a PL of 210.7. Write these down for the tutorial. Do not use these frequencies. I repeat, do not use these frequencies. This is so I do not confuse people with the GMRS channels that are assigned to you. You can look that up by typing in what are the frequencies for the GMRS channels. It's a simple Google search. You never know who's watching or listening to you. I always recommend that you follow the law. In this video, I am going to show you how to throw that Chinese software away and how to add a frequency in the PL remotely through SSH and configure a node in four lines. I will post those four lines below in the code. So you can simply write them down. However, I must tell you that they have to be typed in correctly. That means spaces have to be correctly, capitals have to be followed. So I am going to put them in the bottom so you can copy and paste inside this video description. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the install. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and open up Putty from previous download and you want to go to the website address remembering the two on the end of this port. You're going to open it up. It's going to come in. Your login is root. Your password is the password that you made in the first video. Okay. It's going to load into this menu. We want to go to number nine, which is start shell interface okay so the first line you're going to type P A C M A N S capital S Y Python dash P Y S E R I A L it's going to download some packages. It's going to ask you if you're sure if you want to install it. Yes, you want to hit the Y and enter. And it is now going to install the packages. The next line you're going to do is G I T C L O N E space H T T P S colon forward slash forward slash git hub dot com forward slash j u m b o five five six six all capitals forward slash s r f r s hit enter now it's going to download and install the program You'll see it, we're doing its thing down here. 100% is done. Checking connectivity, done. Okay, next line. P, remember those numbers I had you write down earlier because it's going to come into play right now. Python. S R F R S dot P Y radio. Two minus signs, minus, minus. Frequency, and this is the frequency I had you write down earlier.
make sure you have four numbers behind that. Then what you want to do is dash dash S Q U E L C H one space dash dash C T C S S and remember the PL that we had space two one zero point seven. Hit enter. Okay. Here's a good thing about this. When you make a mistake, I'm kind of glad this happened. Okay, when you make a mistake, you can hit the up arrow and you can go through everything you previously typed. So if you make a mistake, no big deal. So what you want to do is, we were not in the right folder. So it's a good thing, good mistake. CD. This is going to be line number three. CDS, F, R, S. Enter. Now we're in the right directory. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so I don't have to retype that whole line again. I can hit up and look, there's our magical frequency. I hit enter. When you see Scrouch 1, okay, that's great. One more line left. P Y T H O N S R F R S dot P Y space B O L U M E space two minuses minus minus. L E V E L eight. That's the highest level that this radio can go. Say you have somebody that you have the radio on later and they're just way too loud. You can sit, type this single line in there once you turn that cable over into programming mode and change that to seven. You cannot go above eight. Hit enter here and you're done. Simply type exit. Come back to this menu, come down and reboot this system, but first go to the card and flip it over. We've now flipped over the USB-C cable and now I know it's not in programming mode because there's more than one light flashing. So that means it is transmitting and it is working. Now go back to the system and reboot it. When you're finished, simply boot up your radio and turn to the channel. When you hear this, you know you're successful. IP address 192.168.0.253. That means you're successful and you're ready to go. Go ahead and go to your Supermon page at that address I just gave you with the forward slash Supermon and hit enter. Inside there, you're going to be see a little text box that's, after you log in. They're going to have a login at the top left-hand side of the page. Go ahead and log in. If you don't know how to log in, go ahead and watch 10-minute node setup. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please, if you can, like this video and subscribe. It really helps me out more than you even know.